Okay I think we can make it to Starbase 16. Everyone hang on. Helm Warp 1. The Potemkin is coming in and she's crippled. She has taken heavy damage. Do we have a dock available? What about Alpha Dock? There is a freighter headed to it for an overhaul. Shall I redirect them? Yes this is a rescue priority. Red alert. Dispatch any rescue ships we have available. Have damage control and medical teams standing by. Engineering shutting down main power. Life support only. Attach umbilicals. Engage shore power. Five minutes, Admiral, no more. He is very weak. Lieutenant, what happened? Where is the captain and first officer? Sucked out into space, Admiral. A star that we were investigating spat out a chuck of itself. It hold us. I assumed command to try to bring the Potemkin home. Many of our people wanted to abandon ship. I thought we could make it. How is the ship, Admiral? She will be fine. Damage control teams are crawling through her. Now you get some rest. That will be all, Doctor. The replacement crew for the Potemkin is arriving. She lost over a hundred good people. We still need a captain for her. We have someone. I am asking Starfleet for permission. 13 at ease men. Commander Seamus O'Connor and Lieutenant Gary Langley. By order of Starfleet Command, it is my pleasure to perform the following actions. Commander O'Connor, for exemplary service to Starfleet I am ordered to promote you to the rank of Captain. You are to assume command of the Potemkin immediately. Lieutenant Langley. You took command of the Potemkin when you could have abandoned ship. You are hereby awarded the Starfleet Medal of Valor and promoted to the rank of lieutenant commander. You will assume the executive officer's position. Congratulations. You sail in about two hours. I am just getting used to my new ship. We are on a patrol, in an uninteresting sector of the galaxy. Anomaly ahead captain. Alien spacecraft just appeared from it. Cloaking device or is it something else? Could it be Romulans? Unknown configuration captain. A large saucer shaped craft. They are putting out a distress call, asking for help. Acknowledge the distress call. Yellow alert. Approach the craft. Their engines appear to be malfunctioning. They are asking if we can help. We have permission to transport a team over. We are from the United Federation of Planets Starship Potemkin. What is the nature of your emergency? Jared from the planet Tobin. This is Joan. We are grateful to you for coming. The engines on this ship are misaligned. I will show you the problem. We want our children to be safe. Hello children. I am from the big spaceship. My name is Janet. I am Cindy and this is Tom. He is my brother. Are you here to help us? Yes we are here to help. Tell me about your planet if you would. Nasty things were killing our people. We fled our planet. They couldn't save everybody. 
Nasty things. What were they like? Threads came from nowhere. They ate people. We are a family, and were sent to find a new home. Hello, we have gone over your ship. I need to contact mine. It is mostly computer problems, but we will have to take your systems offline to repair this ship. Can you contact our ship please? Navigator, can you find a planet that is habitable that is close by? There is a class M planet roughly a half light year away. It has not been explored or named. I want to welcome you on board the Potemkin, Jared. I am willing to set you down on a habitable Federation planet with an engineering team. We will repair your ship. We would like to know where your home planet is so we can investigate. You are very kind Captain. By now you have seen our jump gate. It will be there for a few days before it dissipates. You are welcome to go there, but you will place your people in danger if you go down to the surface. Danger is inherent in Starfleet. It is nothing new. Jared, right? We have checked the area out, and it looks safe. The ship will set up some shelters for you, and leave some supplies for us. We will get to work on your ship. I wish we had met your people before. Thank you very much. Full scans of the surface. Standard orbit. Science Officer Lundo, surface conditions please. Anomalous structures dot the landscape captain. Unusual life forms, thread like detected. Major cities show a high level of decay. We will set up a landing party. All landing party members are to carry phasers and analytical equipment. Look at that. Most of the vegetation has been destroyed. Look at these statues. Analyzing. Look out. Threads. Ensign look out. Potemkin, emergency beam out. Medical emergency. Threads of something came from out of nowhere and attacked the ensign. Can we safely beam up samples of these creatures? I think so. We found limited vegetation and little animal life. These threads, whatever they are, appear to be somewhere in between. I have the data from the tricorders and the sample. Captain. This is an artificial organism. There is no question. It appears that it was designed to harvest raw materials from the environment and then create artificial objects. Do you mean they were or are used in manufacturing? Yes, Captain. It looks like they got loose from something. We will need more samples and information. I don't want any more casualties. We will set up a portable force field. I recommend that we beam down to a manufacturing area, since these threads can manufacture things. Stay inside the camp. There may be dangers. Kids, get to the nearest shelter. Now. Your ship is ready, but of course we have nowhere to go right now. We may have to wait a few days for the Potemkin to return. We'll just make ourselves at home until they do. Commander, there are two ships and a number of beings on the planet. One ship is a United Federation of Planets shuttle which has no weapons. The other is larger and of unknown origin. How many are on the surface? Are they a threat? No commander I believe the people in the alien saucer to be civilians. I estimate 20 civilians and 10 humans. 
they are a slightly different species than the humans. The experiment saucer will study their biology. Prepare to bring samples here. Bring one male and one female of that species. Also bring one Federation prisoner. Oh no. An energy discharge, a transporter beam. I have to report this. Can I speak to you about something alone please? Cindy can you please leave us? Go play with Tom. Okay. Are you going to talk about something bad? Are you going to say that we are lost in space? Cindy, I need to talk to Mark alone. It is adult stuff. There are some people missing. I don't know how many, but a few. Come to think of it, I have not seen Joan for a little while either. Excuse me, Jaren. One of our people is missing. Do you have any ideas? We were just talking about that. Some of our people are missing too. Mark, is that robot in operational condition? There is no reason that it should not be. Do you want me to activate it? Yes, and send it in here. I have a task that is ideally suited to it. You called for me, Master Jared. How may I serve you? I want you to conduct a head count of our people, and you are also to assist the United Federation of Planets personnel if they need it. Why should I count just their heads, Master Jared? Just count them and let me know how many are missing, if any. <laughs> 